What's up guys, my name is Matthew Egan. Online I go by Trainer Toll. I have owned an SEO agency for 11 years and when I started out as a streamer on Twitch, I wasn't really thinking about what SEO tactics could translate over into the streaming world and then into the YouTube world as I became a YouTuber as well. And so as I started to talk about SEO, I kept getting a lot of really good feedback and questions and what is SEO and, and, and you know, and, kind of pulled down this rabbit hole. And so I really wanted to branch out and add content that, that spoke to those questions. Uh, it, it, there's There seems to be kind of blind spots within the streaming community of not reading basic business books and stuff like that. So I'm really trying to like the things that I feel, uh, read Purple Cow if you haven't already, oh my God. Uh, let's dive into today's video. If this is your first video with us, do hit that like and subscribe button, ring that bell so you never miss any of the SEO tips. How do you get views on your YouTube videos. How is it that you leverage this tool? Everybody says you gotta go on YouTube, you've gotta get your stuff out there, and without doing that, you're not gonna drive people into your community. Well, how do you do that? Today's question comes from my good friends Level Up Together, fantastic couple streamer, and let's see what they had to ask. Hey Trainer, thank you so much for taking our question. Everything that we've been able to do so far with the knowledge that you've given us has been extremely beneficial. So here's a question that we have moving forward. Yeah, uh, recently having started our YouTube channel, um, we've gotten a couple videos under our belt. Um, we were wondering if there's anything that we could be doing to maybe tag our videos better or how can we make them more visible so that we can reach more people? Yeah, it's good. That is the million dollar question. That is a great, that is a great question. But don't we know that guy from somewhere? You're invited to the Twitch partner program. What? Oh, <laughs> gaming, what is this? I must be imagining things. No, I kid. Uh, Level Up Together is absolutely fantastic, and I may just have a soft spot for them because they are a fellow couple streamer like us. Uh, hugely, hugely successful. Their YouTube content is popping off. Thousands of views on their content for Epic 7. Really, really cool stuff. Um, so how do you get your YouTube videos out to new people? Um, so my number one piece of advice, especially for a new YouTuber, right? You don't have uh, a million subscribers. You don't have 10,000 subscribers, right? You, you're, you're just clawing tooth and nail to grow your channel. Uh, keywords, you know, answer people's questions, uh, you know, be the first to answer those questions and, and create content that solves people's problems, right? So as people are searching for that content, you're solving their problem. That's the number one piece of advice in all of my videos is be the first one to answer the question, uh, answer the question while it's hot, right when that new content comes out, and then you're the one that's going to get that traffic. Suddenly you're jumping into this conversation that you weren't a part of previously, and now they're being exposed to your brand, they're being exposed to your content. But above and beyond that, that's tough. Um, there is a Twitter program called Tweepy that helps you search uh, hashtags and topics and, and look at who is following influencers and whatnot. And you're able to see people that are taking part in conversations and you can follow those people. And in theory, they may follow you back and you can, you know, kind of reach people who are naturally talking about those topics. Um, it's a, it's an imperfect science, but that's, that's one way that you can go where you just be really focused on people who are tweeting about that specific game in their case, Epic seven. Uh, I mean, but if you're searching for final fantasy seven remake, if you're searching for Pokemon, you can find people who are tweeting about those topics. And then if you kind of follow them or jump into their discussions, you can look at hashtags and, and just so that that way it puts you on their radar. It's a ton of legwork. It's, it's an absolute ton of, le of legwork, but that that's one way to go. The, the program is called Tweepy. Um, Another thing that you can do is kind of like what we're doing with the launch here is collaborate with other creators. In this case, the advice would be to collaborate with other creators within the Epic 7 space uh, or with whatever the, the focus is of your channel so that you are kind of, you know, you're helping them and they're helping you. Ideally, you want to find somebody who is on a similar level to you within that game content so that you're not like, you know, I'm, I'm not... I'm not reaching out to Harris Heller and asking him to be in my videos or Casey Neistat or something like that. They're going to say no. But, you know, if I reach out to somebody uh, of, a, of a similar uh, level on, on YouTube who's doing similar videos like this, they might say yes. Maybe reach a little higher and, and try to get people that, that you can network with. Uh, you know, that, that can be really successful because then, you know, you're making content that is of value to them. They're happy because, you know, it strokes their ego that they're in your content. Don't think that's why everyone's being a guest in my video. Damn it, the secret is out. No, but so you 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 put that, uh, marketers will, will call it ego bait, that you kind of invite somebody to be in your content. And then that way, by doing it together, collaboration is huge. But at the end of the day, it's an ego bait tactic. 
And so, you know, you're, you're kind of leveraging everybody being involved and then that way it makes the, the video louder, right? So within your game space, figure out who the other streamers are, who the other influencers are. They don't have to be huge. You know, a uh, uh, lateral collaboration still adds value to all parties because everybody has a different audience. So, you know, so don't stress about like, oh, well, because Casey Neistat won't be in my videos, I shouldn't bother collaborating at all. That's the wrong way to look at it. Um, and then ultimately just consistency, uh, you know, continue to make uh, the video content so that YouTube's algorithm and Google's algorithm come to expect high quality content from you that speaks to that topic. Right. So when they think about your channel, they're saying Epic Seven, Epic Seven, Epic Seven. Right. Or, or Final Fantasy or book, whatever it is that you're known for or that you want to be known for. Stay consistent. Um, Roberto Blake had a great tweet today talking about how, you know, it took 100 videos uh, for, for Mr. Beast to hit, I think, uh, 700 subscribers, 100 videos. It took, you know, and, and, and the, the amount of work that has to be put into that as people are fighting that uphill battle, pushing that boulder up the cliff, they give up. Right. And maybe you give up at 20 videos or 50 videos. Well, maybe it was the 60th video that was going to really blow up. So you just have to keep churning those out. Uh, you know, when I made Pokemon videos, the, the one video that got really big for Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home, that was the third video I recorded that day. I was ready to quit. I not, not quit altogether, but like I was ready to just I'd already uploaded two videos. Right. Like three videos in one day. Why would I need to do more than that? But that one video more was the one that brought in on its own 168,000 uh, views and, and hundreds of hours of, of watch time that has come in just because of that video. So imagine the number of subscribers that I added because I just kept pushing and did one more that day, right? And so consistency, set set realistic goals for yourself. You know you, you know what your, your schedule is, you know what your availability is. Are you doing two a month? Are you doing one a week? Uh, for the launch of this channel, I'm doing one a day, which has been complete madness. It is 3.27 p.m. right now, and my goal is to have these up by 2 p.m. every day when I first came out about it. But it was like, all right, we're not skipping a day. We're going to keep uploading. Like, it's just, it is a constant uphill, you know, consistency. Keep uploading. You never know which one it is that's going to run away. So uh, hopefully that gives you a few tips to consider uh, in, in trying to get more views and more subscribers to YouTube channel. It is... A, a battle, right? And just uh, showing up to the keyword will bring a lot of eyeballs to your content. But then at the same time, and this is something that, that Ashna Chris uh, posted in, in her content quite a bit recently, where kind of she she was doing really well on, on some of the SEO stuff, but she wanted to do things that, that, that showcased who she was so that she was getting more brand advocates, more passionate fans, as opposed to just, oh, that was neat and a quick like, right? And so a lot of the SEO stuff, it gets those initial eyeballs onto you, but then it's your content at the end of the day that shows off your personality, that shows off uh, you know who you are, that really allows you to kind of lock those people in and, and bring them into your tribe. Uh, and it won't be everybody, you know, you won't convert everybody to your tribe, but every piece of content that you put up there, hopefully it's bringing a few people more uh, into the fold. If you found this video helpful, do hit that like and subscribe button, ring that bell so you never miss any of my SEO tips. And Laurel and I do stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, twitch.tv slash trainer toll. Thank you again to Level Up Together for being a part of this video, and we'll see you tomorrow.